Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. You and I enjoy the right to chant our religious prayers anywhere in this free country. But it seems by what uh, is going on in Maharashtra now is that chanting of Hanuman Chalisa is nothing short of sedition. After the arrest of independent member of parliament and her husband, the state took the fight a step further by slapping a sedition charge no less against Navneet Rana and her husband. Navneet Rana's plea to quash the second FIR was dismissed by the Bombay High Court. The BJP has come out all guns blazing, slamming the thok tantra that is taking shape under the Aghari Sarkar. But why the BJP is saying that there is a complete dictatorship under Uddhav Thakre's rule, let me give you a lowdown. The Rana duo were arrested for daring to chant Hanuman Chalisa outside Uddhav's residence and later slapped with sedition. But 16 Shiv Sainiks have got bail for targeting BJP leader Kirit Somaya. In fact, Maharashtra Minister Vijay Vedetivar crossed all limits and called the duo Nietzsche and Nalayak for attempting to chant bhajan. It's uh, okay for Sena to endorse chanting of Chalisa outside Prime Minister's residence but not outside Uddhav's residence. Amidst this fight uh, of the dictatorship charge, the top boss of the Sena has made it clear that he won't accept Dadagiri. Listen in to Uddhav Thakre. आशी एक मन है कि साधु संत येती घरा तोची दिवाली दसरा पण आमच्या घरामध्ये दिवाळी असो दसरा असो किंवा नसो साधु संत येतच असतात शिवसेना प्रमुख होते मां होती तेव्हा येत होते आता येतात पण ते नीट बोलून सांगून येतात की मैं आपके घर आना चाहता हूं कुछ तो आपको बताना चाहता हूं आइए जरूर आइए आगत स्वागत आम्ही करू पण दादागिरी करून याल तर दादागिरी कशी मोडायची ते सुद्धा आम्हाला शिवसेना प्रमुख आणि हिंदुत्वाच्या व्याख्येत समजून सांगितलेलं आहे द वॉर ऑफ वर्ड हॅज ओनली इंटेन्सिफाईड अँड हॅज रीच अ पॉइंट ऑफ नो रिटर्न द इंटॉलरन्स लॉबी इज सायलंट ऍज बीजेपी ऍक्च्युली इज रेनिंग फायर ऑन वॉट इट कॉल्स द डिस्पॉट उद्धव ठाकरे लिसन इन टू दिस वॉर ऑफ वर्ड महाराष्ट्र आमची ताकद तेवढीच आहे जर सरकारला वाट असेल जशा तसं उत्तर पाहिजे तर ते देण्याची ताकद आणि हिंमत भारतीय जनता पक्षामध्ये आहे हे स्पष्टपणे सांगतो पण आम्ही लोकशाही मानणारे लोक आहोत लोकशाही पद्धतीने आंदोलन करतो आहोत आमच्याशी ठोकशाहीने वागाल उत्तर तसंच तसंच उत्तर ऐसं कोणी पोलीस आता आपलं काम करी ऐसं ऐकली जान बुझ के किसी के ऊपर अटैक नहीं हो रहा है अभी बीजेपी के कितने नेता है लेकिन दो चार नेता अगर ऐसा एक, एकदम अशांति निर्माण करने के लिए कृति करेंगे और पुलिस कार्रवाई नहीं करेगी तो क्या पुलिस चुप बैठेगी कि जितने किरीट तो मैया की हत्या करने का प्रयास किया जिन्होंने गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया के कमांडो को मारा झूठों से बाटली से पत्थरों से वो शिवसेना के कार्यकर्ता को कभी बेल नहीं मिल सकता था लेकिन किरीट सोमैया के नाम पर संजय पांडे ने खुद फर्जी एफ करवा दी ये क्या कमिश्नर है या क्या है शर्मनाक थनौनी तराना और उनके पति द्वारा कराया गया ये कृत्य जिसके पीछे भाजपा है ये साबित हो गया मुख्यमंत्री का आवास माता श्री जो उनका व्यक्तिगत निज आवास है जो पार्टी के लिए एक मंदिर की तरह वहां जाके आप ललकारना चाहती हैं और आई कहां से हैं आप अमरावती सैकड़ों किलोमीटर दूर तो तो राजनीति से प्रेरित था रूलिंग पॉलिटी इन महाराष्ट्र हैज टू टू सो वेरी लो एंड दे आर ट्राइंग टू स्टेफल इवन द जेन्युन डेमोक्रेटिक वॉइसेज भारतीय जनता पार्टी प्रैक्टिस नॉर्म्स ऑफ डेमोक्रेसी नॉट ओनली इन इट्स कॉन्डक्ट आउटसाइड बट ऑल्सो कॉन्डक्ट विद इन द पार्टी सो आई थिंक instead of emulating the bhartiya janta party's culture they are trying to impose their own culture of hooliganism which of course our leaders our workers there are determined to resist 23 april 2022 ke roz hamare desh ke pyare guru mantri 
अमित शाह मोटापाई से बहने की इजाजत मांगी है हमारे पीएम नरेंद्र मोदी जी के आवास के बाहर सर्वधर्मीय प्रार्थना करने के लिए क्योंकि अगर यही तरीके से हम उनका जहनिज्म हम लोगों का ईमान अगर हिंदुत्व जगा सके तो ये बहुत अच्छी बात है and that brings me to the legitimate question on the news are tonight the only question that's playing on the minds of every single indian is hanuman chalisa seditious that's the question and that's the debate coming up on the other side sedition for chalisa that's the hashtag and the debate coming up you're watching the news hour at now Debate number one on Times Now, Super Prime Time. And joining me tonight, Nupur Sharma, National Spokesperson of the BJP, Ishkaran Bhandari, Advocate Bridge Mohan Shivastav, National Spokesperson of the NCP, Sanjay Hegre, Senior Advocate. But my first question goes to Mr. Kishore Tiwari, Leader of the Shiv Sena. Kishore Tiwari ji, ab. जय हनुमान ज्ञान गुण सागर अगर बोलेंगे तो सेडिशन में आप अंदर तो नहीं कर देंगे सबको नाविका मुझे उम्मीद थी कि तुम इसी प्रकार ट्विस्ट करके बोलोगी तो मुझे लगा कि पहले मैं तुम्हें अपडेट कर दू कि हनुमान चालीसा हम लोग भी बोलते हैं और हम भी सनातनी हनुमान चालीसा और रामचरित्र मानस के ही लोग है ये जो सेडिटेशन के सेडिटेशन का या राष्ट्रद्रोह का मामला जो है हुआ है या फिर आपने बोला समाज में अशांति फैलाने का या गवर्नमेंट की अधिकारियों को गाली गोलोज करना ये सब पुलिस ने लगाए हुए कलम है तो पुलिस ने उसको जस्टिफाई किया हाईकोर्ट ने भी बोला कि इसकी इंक्वायरी पूरी ढंग से होनी चाहिए अब सेडिटेशन का आपने बोला है राष्ट्रद्रोह का 124 बी 124 बी में तो पिछले साल भी सैकड़ों केसेस हुए यूपी में भी बहुत लोगों को लगाया और गुजरात में मोदी जी ने भी लगाया था वो जब टाइम्स ऑफ इंडिया के संपादक पे तो मैं भी बता रहा हूं कि ये लोगों का हनुमान चालीसा तो बोलने का तो फिर किशोर तिवारी जी तो आपका कहना है कि आप में और जो आप बताते रहते हैं मोदी जी की सरकार में कोई डीएनए में कोई फर्क नहीं है सेम है वो भी लगाते हैं तो... आप भी लगाते हैं तो हम सबको खुश रहना चाहिए सवाल नहीं पूछना चाहिए हनुमान चालीसा अपने घर में पढ़िए लेकिन नमाज सड़क पर पढ़ लीजिए उसकी इजाजत है आपको नहीं मैं मैं देखो बीच में तो टोक कर मेरा वो पूरा जवाब नहीं हो पाया मैं बोल देता हूं सब लोग सारोकार नहीं रखेंगे लेकिन मैं बता रहा हूं कि नमाज भी सड़क पे नहीं पढ़नी चाहिए इससे भी हम तैयार है नमाज के लिए वजह से नाइट पोल्यूशन नहीं होना चाहिए इसके लिए भी हम तैयार है दूसरी बात मुख्यमंत्री के निवास में उनके बेडरूम में जाकर हनुमान चालीसा पढ़ने का उद्देश्य जो था उसका उद्देश्य पूरा सामने आया है इन्होंने अमरावती में भी ऐसा ही किया इनको हमने नोटिस दी लेकिन यह जो बंटी बबली दोनों भी है ये बहुत शरारती है इन्होंने वहां भी एक शिवाजी महाराज देश में कोई भी शरारत करेगा उस पर सेडिशन लग जाएगा एक मिनट और सेडिशन और शरारत बंटी बबली पर सेडिशन लग गया नुपुर शर्मा दैट इज दी आर्ग्यूमेंट दे आर बंटी बबली दे आर बीन नॉटी सो वी विल पुट सेडिशन एंड यू नो ऑन द वन हैंड इफ इफ आई वर टू अग्री विद मिस्टर उद्धव ठाकरे द चीफ मिनिस्टर ऑफ महाराष्ट्र वेर ही सेट Uh, that if you want to come to my house you are most welcome you want to discuss any issue of maharashtra you are most welcome but dada giri will not be tolerated i i can understand that i can understand the notice but sedition and then sedition because banti babli shararat kar rahe hain is that justified नहीं नहीं अशांति और दंगे भी फैलाने वाले थे गुड इवनिंग नविका टू यू और देश को भी खतरा है मैं आई प्लीज गुड इवनिंग आपसे सुना मैं मैं प्लीज नविका प्लीज यस नाउ गुड इवनिंग टू यू टू पैनलिस्ट एंड ऑल्सो टू योर व्यूअर्स फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट लेट्स ट्राई एंड अंडरस्टैंड वॉट वॉज दी सेडिशन लॉ नीड्स एज फार एज इंग्रीडियंट्स आर कंसर्न एनी एक्ट विच कॉजेज डिसअफेक्शन टूवर्ड्स द स्टेट आई डिड नॉट नो रीडिंग और जस्ट अ डेक्लेरेशन ऑफ रीडिंग दी हनुमान चालीसा एंड ओपन is going to cause disaffection towards the state and if i'm reading in the news correctly and i'm going to quote navika you know with all due respect my lords 
uh, I'm also practicing advocate, but this has to be said. If I'm reading this correctly, this has been reported correctly in the news. This is what the Honorable High Court said. Such declaration of reading religious verses in someone else's house or even in public spaces is certainly a breach of the personal liberty of the other person. The state is justified in carrying apprehension that such act will lead to disturbance in law and order situation. It is observed in the order. Now interestingly, I wonder how many people are arrested when five times uh, namaz is actually offered and read every Friday. Public spaces are blocked and it's not just peculiar to say a Mumbai, it happens on every other street all over India. So I wonder how many people has Uddhav Thakre arrested in his vicinity or around the city. I wonder how many permissions he is giving to block public spaces and public roads just for reading namaz or even azan on the loudspeaker. Point number two and very interestingly, you know uh, in this case uh, exceptionally, uh, a declaration was Achha made to read the Hanuman Chalisa, but then the same was actually cancelled. The couple was arrested, you know, Navika, you know, Navika, I did not heckle this person. It is important to actually bring out a few facts. Nahin, aap, aap uh, the Rana couple had announced that they would read the Hanuman Chalisa outside Mahabharata. You know, you need to stop him. I am not arguing, I am not arguing outside a Lanka for water which never reaches the, uh, the neighborhood in some areas in Mumbai. You know, allow me. You know, Navika, this is not fair. He's had his uh, say. He needs to extend the same courtesy to me. I did not heckle him. Please, Navika, I request you. Now, uh, you know, interestingly, a so-called declaration had been made, but the same was withdrawn. The couple was arrested from inside their house. And if I saw clearly, I could not see when Mrs. Rana specifically was being arrested, I could not spot a single woman arresting her. She was being pushed into the car, she was this being pulled into the car, is, but there was not is, a single is, is woman police woman who arrested her. The only this women police that I actually thought was inside the thana when she was brought to the thana. I do not know how legal that is, but specifically in this matter, you know, I have a direct Navika question to ask of uh, Uddhav Thakur. Na How many people have been booked for sedition for offering namaz in public spaces every Friday? When they block public spaces, do they issue actual permissions, legal permissions, official administrative permissions for blocking public spaces, especially roads, every Friday, five times a day? Do they actually go ahead and uh, book people and arrest them helter-skelter for, you know, uh, giving out azan? After all, that is also infringing you know, my that, public space. That is, that is the question and, and I want to take and I want to take that question the to the two lawyers on the panel. Sanjay Hegre, I want to ask you, does this merit a sedition charge just because somebody surely for political reasons said and threatened that we will go outside the chief minister's house and read Hanuman Chalisa. They didn't go, they were at home, they were at, arrested from home and then there are people who attack not just uh, the member of parliament and her MLA husband but also a BJP uh, former member of parliament who has a Z plus security. A Z plus security for Kirit Somaya, yet he gets attacked by people and all those people are out on bail but a sedition charge for not reading the Ch Hanuman Chalisa as threatened. Do you think this is uh, a little extreme? Let, let me answer. There are, two, there are two points I want to make. One point is as a lawyer, one point is as a Hindu. Now, point one, I hold the position fortified by Supreme Court judgments, that almost no speech is seditious unless there is actual violence. That is what the Supreme Court said in Kedarnath's case. If you call for, uh, say, a mutiny to an arm, army unit and violence occurs there, then you're responsible. That would be sedition. But on the other hand, in Balbir Singh's case, where, P where two Sikh gentlemen on the day of Indira Gandhi's assassination in a Chandigarh uh, uh, police um, petrol pump shouted uh, Raj Karega Khalsa, Hindu Raj Nahi Chalegi, various things, even that was not sedition. The sedition law is a bad law. The sooner that it is done away with, the better it is. So I don't think the Hanuman Chalisa is seditious. I don't see our father who art in heaven is seditious. I don't even think Narendra Modi Murtabad is seditious, nor Rahul Gandhi Murtabad. And 
the answer to a speech is a speech. They, that is the correct position in law. And uh, uh, the sedition law is a very useful tool to put away everyone so that, you know, they, the process itself becomes the punishment. Very rarely do you have a sedition case going to trial and finally ending in a conviction. The only exception I know is of Binayak Sen in Chhattisgarh, and, uh, and that case is still pending appeal. So this is definitely not seditious. But in my view, almost nothing which does not incite violence is seditious. That is the legal position in law. Now, as a Hindu, let me tell you something else. When was the Hanuman Chalisa written? The Hanuman Chalisa was written when Mahakavi Tulsidas was in jail. And when he, when he sang it out, then a miracle occurred, which sprung him from jail. There was a whole host of uh, Vanar Sena which turned up. I would think that, you know, as good bucks, the Rana couple should sit in jail and sing the Hanuman Chalisa. Oh. So, uh, quite but often, Kanhaiya should be out on the occurred. streets. Kanhaiya should out be on the, uh, uh, on the streets. Kanhaiya should be part of the political process. Uh, he can cause uh, riots in Delhi and, and stuff like that. But, but Rana should recite the Hanuman Chalisa in jail. Then only they will be real Hanuman no, no, bhaks. I, I, mean, I, I am giving you a Hindu argument. Please. I am challenging you on where, when was the Hanuman Chalisa written according to the Hindu tradition. It was written in jail. Now, second question. As a Maharashtra, I am asking you. Why the Hanuman Chalisa in Maharashtra? Have we forgotten the Gyaneshwari? Have we, have we forgotten um, Tukaram? There is so much of religious literature in Maharashtra. That, that Very good. And, and, and say, uh, let's bring in the Hanuman. Very good, very good. Okay. And, and, and uh, uh, Sanjay Hegre ji, have you forgotten personal liberties uh, in all of this? Because I, I not, will I choose, you, I will I choose whether I want to read the, Hanu, recite the Hanuman Chalisa, whether I want to recite the Gayatri Mantra or some other thing. Uh, have you suddenly forgotten about personal liberty of I my not. choice? I have told you, I have told you as a lawyer that this is all wrong. Hanuman Chalisa is allowed. Narendra Modi is so, is allowed. So are you Everything schizophrenic? Are you schizophrenic that allowed. you will have one view as a lawyer? So if I want to see uh, uh, Sanjay Hegre, the lawyer, I should see the left side. And if I want to see Sanjay Hegre, uh, the Hindu, I have to see the right side. Uh, explain no, to me, no, how do you no. want to read this? Nothing. I am telling you that in Hindu theology, there is one answer. In law, there is another answer. I am willing to take you all on in, in any which field that you want to take. Well, Ishkaran Bandari, Ishkaran Bandari, I don't know. As an Indian, I feel that Hanuman Chalisa, yes, kisi ke ghar ke saamne parke to threaten a chief minister is not the right way to do it. It's only politics. Having said that, the woman did not go there. The woman did not read it. And... She was arrested from home and sedition slapped and all. Looks a little extreme to me. Uh, but I don't understand the argument just made out by Sanjay Hegre. Maybe trained lawyers and extremely well-read uh, Hindu theology uh, exponents uh, are ex uh, confusing me. Navika ji, I was about to say something different, but I would like to answer Mr. Hegde. I cannot believe after what he started with that this is not a sedition case. In fact, most of these cases are not sedition case. Even as recent as Vinod Dua judgment, the Supreme Court has said that. But after that, to take pot shots and to give perverted logic to people arrested and put in jail, I think that smacks of duplicity. But he is, of course, entitled to his views. I will not tell anybody what... <clears throat> what they should speak or what they should say but the nation saw the perversion and this is why i was about to say we the people of india gave ourselves a constitution but we the people and unfortunately lawyers included are cheering while piece by piece state by state it has been destroyed where the free speech has been destroyed why because we will say yes the law says this but if it is done by a party which is opposing the ideology of the person speaking then we cheer it then we mock it, then we support it. If BJP makes an arrest, and there are innumerable cases, I gave Vinod Dua example, then people who support BJP cheer it. I, as a lawyer, as a citizen, don't like it. 
But when Maharashtra Sarkar does it, then it's unfortunate they are lawyers who are wanting to slyly or subtly support it and mock it. What this will result is in this, that when BJP arrests, BJP supporters will be happy. When Shiv Sena arrests, Shiv Sena supporters will be happy. When Congress arrests, Congress supporters will be happy. Up to aap bhi aagaye. While we are all happy and enjoying it, the only people who will benefit are politicians in power. And state by state, we will have only state government speech left because acquittals will happen. There is also a case of Vaipo who got convicted. I think that's also pending appeal. I'm not sure of the status now. But what will be the reality? Because the procedure is punishment, because before you get bail, you will spend a few days in jail, we will have the classical chilling effect where free speech will die, which started its demise by the first amendment brought in by Nehru and which is continuing today. And it's very, very disheartening to see lawyers supporting it. Well, I, I want to get in the NCP spokesperson joining us on the debate, Sakshna Salgar. Sakshna Salgar, I want to ask you, Azan, Supreme Court uh, uh, already order exists that loudspeakers not important, remove them, Azan can continue. But that will not be implemented. The fact is, somebody says, I want to read out the Hanuman Chalisa, doesn't even go read it outside the CM's house, but slapped with sedition and thrown into jail. People who attack her, her family, her home, people who attack Kirit Somaya, they are out on bail in 24 hours. Is this Log Tantra democracy or is this Thok Tantra, where everybody can thoko anybody if they have power in their hand? Ma'am, first of all, uh, thank you for uh, inviting me for this debate. Thank you very much like for joining you, us. Uh, Ma'am, I would like to tell you something that as a youngster, what I feel for the Maharashtra and Central government, for my nation, uh, actually Bharatiya Janata Party, sorry, it is Bharat Janao Party. Bharat Janao Party wants to set an agenda for uh, communal rights. They want communal rights. They are set, setting the agenda for 2024 Lok Sabha election. That's why they are starting day by day one new thing. First thing was uh, said by BJP for Guruatna Sadawarte. He attacks honorable, P, uh, honorable chief uh, person of uh, NCP Sharad Pawar Sahib house. Second, Navneet Rana and her uh, husband uh, Rana Ji. They all attacking CM house. Why there is a need of a Chalisa in front of CM house? She can live in her own house. Hanuman was I am a Hindu girl. But what is happening in Maharashtra that we are ruling, uh, uh, Mahavika Agadi is ruling here as a civil Sena, NCP and Congress. So BJP can't tolerate this, especially former CM Padam BJ can't tolerate this. That's why they want to, uh, you know, rule her as a presidential rule. They want to set her a presidential rule. You see, previously, day before, one before, one day before, Mr. Praveen Garikarji, who is an opposition leader in legislative council in Maharashtra, he completely and clearly said that, that he wants presidential rule in Maharashtra. That's why they are setting the agenda communal rights. Pahle kya karo, Muslim, Hindu banao, uspa rights barkao, pahle sadawarti ji ne kiya, baad mein Navli Drana, who is an independent MP, with the support of NCP in 2019, now she is doing the... What are you Dr. saying? Kuch. You are saying Muslim ko mat bharkao, lekin Hindu ko bharkalo, uska license hai. No, no, no. Ne, ne, Hindu ko bharkalo, Hindu ko no, chalisa no, no. mat padne do, Hindu ko sarak par mat baitne do, lekin baakiyo ko allow kar do. You know, is that fair? Is that fair? No, no, no. no. Is that Absolutely fair? Not. Ma, ma, give me, give me one minute. I will tell you. Before I am uh, speaking now, uh, before me, there was a headmaster, there was one lawyer who was speaking. I know Pasayada, who which is written by Ganeshwarji. I know Tukaram Gata, which is written by Santo Tukaramji. I know Hanuman Chalita because I am a Hindu girl. But Mujhe Mera Nation, Ya Mera National Anthem, Ye Nahi Kheta Ki Agar Koi Adhan Pad Raya Toh Mein Usse Upar Or Dor Se Mein Aapna Hanuman Chalita Tuh Nahi Unki Hindu Dharam Ne Nahi Kheta Hai. Not, not taught by my religion. My religion is that Fair point. I oh. agree with you. I agree with you completely that I don't have to read it. But I'm saying 
that you will not lower their volume but you will stop me from reading isn't that isn't that what is happening in maharashtra nupur sharma no no ma'am no ma'am absolutely no ma'am because what is happening in maharashtra one minute nupur is responding to you nupur nupur sharma of the bjp is responding to you let's have one thing clear they actually never recited the hanuman chalisa so i really wonder why the preemptive arrest but at the same time bit rich for the national cheating and national corrupt party to come on record and call somebody else communal not everybody has forgotten how ex raw uh, raw officer mr nk sooth came on record to say Sh sharat pawar your ncp supremo had very close relations with davu ibrahim who exactly the one who's the cause behind the mumbai blast after the babri masjid issue incident well, so yeah. if you have the so proof nupur sharma if you have the proof arrest him if you have the proof nupur sharma you've been in government two. for 8 years Point arrest two. him i am not nk sood uh, uh, navika i am not nk sood i was never a raw official but if a raw official has come on record to say it in a interview publicized i am sure there must be something he has and i am sure there's a lot being investigated that's the reason why people like nawab malik are actually behind bars yet they continue as a cabinet minister although they are arrested you know i wish uh, uh, so much uh, you know speed was shown in the arrest of deshmukh and nawab malik alike uh, for all the criminal activities that they are involved in but i want to come back to mr hegre with the smirk on his face i tell you what he did he trivialized hinduism you know i'm sorry this is just a challenge to test the metal of hanuman chalisa go behind bars and you know read the recite the hanuman chalisa for 40 days and then you will know if lord hanuman will ever come to your rescue by that very logic why don't you mr hegre also say that quran or rather namaz should only be recited from uh, Saudi Arabia because that's after all where it was read why block roads in India or any other country or any other public space outside of Saudi Arabia let's have all muslims who want to actually say the namaz or read the quran or even say the azan go back to Saudi Arabia and do it i'm sorry i will not allow you to trivialize a religion which is largely followed and it's it's an issue of faith and i do not think you your are... smirk was very uh, uh, very, very good question good. very think, good uh, question sanjay you you respond to navika you uh, should have other tulsi das ne anuman chalisa jail mein likhi thi aur jail mein hi usko recite kar sakte hain to fir makkah madina jaiye wahi par padhiye nahi 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 bhaiya main main na hanuman chalisa mein hu na namaz mein hu na our father who are not in heaven mein hu acha be simple thing no nobody defines anybody's hinduism or lack of hinduism this is a threat that if you do not so know his, uh, the hanuman chalisa please uh, please do not I interrupt you me. I, 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 i challenge please. you to say it mr hegre for, I, I, for, for I, I purposes of charity chalo, i'm sorry can, i'm having chalo, to chalo. speak over you for purposes no, no, of charity no, no, you are not sorry you are not sorry you are you are doing it for your party and say all okay. those people asking for your, No, Bharat ke tukre inshallah which are serious no, 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 cases no, no. i would yeah, rather say let every muslim go back me. to saudi arabia if they ever want to read the namaz why, why, why no i'm sorry i have to say it i have to say it i would believe in neutrality and all your moral high ground taking no, 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 for the purpose no, no, of believing can, in the constitution and secularism i challenge you to say let every muslim go back to saudi arabia if they ever want to propound or follow the religion i challenge you to say i am i am not Said, I'm sorry, Mr. Hegre. No, Mr. Hegre. I am. I am sorry. Then you're biased. Then you're biased, Mr. Hegre. All right. Then you're absolutely no, biased. No, no, no. Sanjay Hegre. Uh, uh, Sanjay Hegre is responding. Where you will not extend the same. Senior advocate. Senior advocate. Sanjay Hegre is responding. You should tell him to say it. He doesn't want your viewers to listen to you. That's about it. That's why he not say it against the Muslims. He does not want. My my point, no, Sanjay well, Hegre. My point, Sanjay Hegre, is simply this: If Hindus yes. should recite their Hanuman Chalisa inside a jail, why should it, Muslims be allowed to cite it outside or or in no, India? Yahan ki to religion hi nahi hai. They can recite it wherever Hindus and Muslims together can say Rahul Gandhi Murdabad, uh, Narendra Modi Murdabad. That is, I uh, that is not seditious. Nothing is seditious. Is my point. Okay. The then, then as a Hindu, as a Hindu, I am no, telling no. you. Now, you have, you have, 
has nothing. Then I'm sorry. You have no Why did you have to bring in where Hanuman Chalisa was written? No, no, please. Now, now, no, no, at least. No, no, I did not know Hanuman Ji was also contesting elections. Now, because this is unfair. Answer my pointed question. State, state, let the people of India believe you are actually neutral and not biased. You are not an anti-Hindu person. No, state, Mr. Hegre. With all due respect to you, you are a senior advocate of the Honorable Supreme Court. Show your clarity. Show you are not biased. No, I challenge you, Mr. Hegre. Where did the where did the Gurda Bazar and Zinda Bazar come from? No, no. If she is nobody to define, if she is nobody to define Hinduism, then Sanjay Hegre, you are nobody to define that Navneet Rana and Ravi Rana should only sit in the jail and recite their Anuman Chalisa. I am saying that would be the best example. Why should it be the best the example? Why, Why should it be? That, that is exactly, isn't that, is that, exactly isn't that perverted stated. justice that, that you exactly. talk about no, no, ever no, no, so no, no, often? Isn't no, it perverted? No, no. You know, you I will support I, those I, who I, say, I, those I, who I, say, Abzal Ham Sharminda hai, Tere Katil Zinda hai. That, that you say is freedom of speech. But reading the Hanuman Chalisa, reading the Hanuman Chalisa, you are saying should be done inside the jail. I don't know, I don't know, Sanjay Hegre, what's the point you want to make? एक बट किशोर तिवारी जी किशोर तिवारी जी बोलिए बोलिए मैं मैं सिर्फ आपसे यह पूछना चाहती हूं शिवसेना शिवसेना का डीएनए हिंदू होता था अब सरकार में आप आ गए हैं वो भी दूषित फॉलो पॉलिटिक्स सेक्युलरिज्म की जो लोग फॉलो करते हैं उनके साथ अब आपको आजान भी अच्छी लगने लग गई है लाउड स्पीकर भी अच्छा लगने लग गया है और हनुमान चालीसा जो है उससे आपको एलर्जी होने लग गई है आपको सहा नहीं जाता ये ये कैसी कैसी बात हो रही है और और उद्धव ठाकरे जी से मैं बिल्कुल सहमत हूं जब वो कहते हैं कि पढ़ो मुझसे मिलना है मिलो मेरे घर के बाहर आकर दादागिरी मत करो मैं इससे भी सहमत हूं लेकिन दादागिरी करने तो वो पहुंचे ही नहीं फिर नहीं भी, देखो फिर भी उन पर सेडिशन का केस नहीं नहीं ये देखो मैं आपकी बात से सहमत हूं आ, कि उद्धव जी के घर पर कोई सम्मान से आएगा तो उसका सम्मान भी किया जाएगा और कोई दादागिरी करेगा तो उसका जवाब भी दिया जाएगा जो हमने अभी बता दिया अभी मैं आपको बताता हूं हमारा डीएनए बदला नहीं एक बार है कि हम शिवसेना पक्ष बोलकर हमारा हिंदुत्व इंटैक्ट है लेकिन महाराष्ट्र के सीएम बोलकर उद्धव जी पर राज धर्म का जवाबदारी है जो वो निभा रहे हैं ऐसा ही राजधर्म का जवाबदेही सेडिशन लगा के निभाया जाता है ईश्करण भंडारी हाउ कैन देर बी सेडिशन फॉर समबडी हुज नॉट गॉन दो मिनट में बोल लेता हूँ इस कारण पुलिस ने अगर गलत किया है तो हाईकोर्ट का भी डिसाइड कर सकता है उसका भी जवाब प्री जुडिशियो होकर ये मत बोलिए कि हमने ये क्यों किया वो क्यों किया पुलिस जिन्होंने किया उनकी अकाउंटेबिलिटी भी तय ओ पुलिस ने किया पुलिस ने किया जब ईडी करती है जब सीबीआई करती है तो मोदी करते हैं लेकिन जब मुंबई पुलिस करती है तो पुलिस करती है सरकार नहीं करती ये कैसा लॉजिक है ईश्करण भंडारी रिस्पॉन्ड नाविका जी वन सेकेंड वन किशोर जी सुन लिया मुझे बोलने दीजिए नाविका जी द डेज When somebody could say I am a proud Hindu or a proud Sanatani, yet use it to mock Hinduism, are over. Unfortunately, those people haven't realized it. When on national television you make an argument in a mocking tone that jail में रह के करेंगे और वो ही उचित है, वो सारी दुनिया देखती है और वो जमाने चले गए हैं कि जब आप कर सकते थे, आज सबको आपका facial expression दिखता है, सबको आपकी tone दिखती है, और सबको आपका argument का logic दिखता है। मैं आपकी बात ही नहीं कर रहा किशोर जी, किशोर जी आपकी बात नहीं हो रही यहाँ पे, किशोर जी आपकी तो बात ही नहीं हो रही, मैं आपकी तो बात ही नहीं हो रही यहाँ पे। अब मुझे दूसरी बात करने दीजिए, नाविका जी, I remember distinctively being on debates when Haryana issue was going on, where an ecosystem was saying, why are people not allowed to do namaz in open areas? The same ecosystem was shouting from the rooftop that ye, we have a fundamental right to do namaz in open spaces. Why is the district administration saying 
even in open spaces, take permission and do it only in select open spaces. That entire ecosystem has suddenly flipped now, and now are, they are saying that okay, Hanuman Chalisa, padna hai. the most fitting way would be to do it in jail. There are some people for whom the most fitting place for Hindus is in jail. Unfortunately, that is not how India or Bharat will operate. Well, I only I want to say in? one thing at the end Can of this in? debate. Are governments becoming more and more intolerant is a question many people are asking. Is this necessary Hindu-Muslim formula taking over our politics? Question number two. And the biggest issue here is just this. Where is the lobby? Where is the free speech lobby? Where is the tolerance lobby? They have a view on everything. How come suddenly they can't find a single word to comment on what has happened in Maharashtra? We're waiting, but the silence is so deafening from this lobby. We'll leave it at that. Thank you very much to my panelists for joining me on debate number one.